Hi, this is Dr. Ruchika. So let me enumerate the points so that when you should shift from IUI to IVF. Means when you are showing to a normal gynecologist and then you should shift to a tertiary level center means you should come to a IVF specialist or when you are seeing us also and we are doing we have just recommended a IUI in you IUI means intrauterine insemination and then we are telling you to when you should go for a IVF. First and foremost the things have to be very clear that uh, when you have been selected for a IUI so like the standards for doing a IUI means the prerequisite for doing IUI has to be met means you are having a patent fallopian tube, the fallopian tube is working, you are making proper eggs and which are also ovulating in, on time and the husband's sperm is also borderline, it is, it is good or it is borderline, it cannot be like a very low sperm count and then you are still going for IUIs. So these three things have to be met in mind. Fourthly, for all the patients who are coming to us, we have to do an ovarian aging for these patients. If you are already sitting on a volcano, like you are already on the borderline of ovarian aging, then you should not go for IUIs because maybe you land in an IVF and in that case you are not able to make produce eggs and in IVF you have to go for donor eggs. So it's better you do a, get an IVF done rather than doing an IUI because all the IUI cycles they carry only a 10 to 20 percent success rate. That is well low than the IVF success rate. So for all those females who are having a low ovarian reserve they should go for IVF not waste their time in IUI. If at all the patients are going for IUI and they are fit for IUI, so we should always document maybe before if we are putting the sperm in, we are inseminating the patient with the sperm of the husband then we or the donor whatever is the criteria, then we should be very clear that maybe at the time of insemination we are not documenting but call the patient 2-3 days after IUI and just check whether the egg has ovulated or not. That is very essential because an ovulation is one of the causes for doing IVF cycle. Thirdly, if you have already gone for maybe three IVF cycles, you should switch on to through three IUI cycles, then you should definitely switch on to IVF. Because after three IUI cycles, the patient is really saturated. The guidelines, they say you can take a trial up to maybe six cycles. Six cycle trial is only recommended for those kind of patients who have got a very good ovarian reserve and the age is on their side. So usually a three to four IUI cycle is sufficient for such patients and they should shift to IVF. We see patients in the clinic who have already got seven IUIs done, in fact 10 IUIs done also. I have done for patients who have come from the periphery and they have got 10 IUI cycles done. Then we have done the IVF. In those patients we were hardly able to retrieve eggs. We had only two or three eggs. Fortunately the patient got pregnant. But in some cases they just don't get pregnant and maybe we have to use donor eggs also. I have done donor egg cycles in many patients who have gone for recurrent IUIs. So all those uh, ladies and in fact couples who are getting these IUIs done recurrently, you should stop and check that what is the cause of your IUI failures. Do you need to go in for IVF that is a more advanced form or you need to continue with your IUIs. So you need to have this clarity in mind and it's not that with IUI you are going to conceive. So please keep your minds open and shift to IVF cycles if you have got a 3 to 4 IUI failures.